everyone welcome back so today i'm going to talk about another application of azure text analytics service and using that we will see how we can redact the sensitive information from any documents any document so to be specific we will be actually understanding how we can use ner which is short for for named entity recognition and one of its important feature called PI, which is short for personally identifiable information. So PI has the ability to identify sensitive information from the text file or any document like phone numbers, SSN number, credit card number, name of the person and all these things. So let's have a look at one of the use case and you would be able to relate this feature and it's used very easily. Okay, so you might have heard that there are many companies who work on data and usually they bought their data from other companies or sources. And the reason for doing this is they would be either interested in marketing their product using someone's personal information or they would like to run some analysis on huge set of data which is not available or say it is close to impossible for them to generate. So in any of these cases, they have to go and buy the data from other sources. And now when it comes to data selling, one must be very cautious on what is being sold because selling someone's personal information or the confidential data may lead to criminal or legal issues. Now the question here is how to filter such information, how to extract that sensitive, so-called sensitive information. Now for that, one cannot go with the human intervention or a single person cannot sit and do this filtration because it is very time consuming and at the same time it is very error prone. So here arises the need of some automated solution and of course Azure is there for a rescue. So Azure text analysis is the one which we are going to use to perform this automation. Now let's have a look at this picture. On the left hand side you can see a bunch of documents which contains a mix of both sensitive as well as the casual information. So this mix set will be passed as an input to the PI API and that API will identify the information which has to be detected and which is like the casual information and accordingly it will classify the information. So let's start by having a look at few lines of code and we'll see how we can filter the information whether it is sensitive or less sensitive. So the very first step I would like to take is I will go to my Azure portal and will create a resource for text analytics. So this is a text analytics. You can click on create and furnish all these details resource group, region, name, pricing tier and just checkbox, check this check mark, uh, checkbox and click on review and create. So once it is created, you will be able to see that the endpoint is generated. So I'm going to use the one which I have already generated. So click on the keys and the endpoint and you can see that these few things are generated over here. Now I will show you a few lines of code to see how this information is extracted. Okay, so these are the key inputs which we need. So first one is the key. So I can show you key, I have taken it from the here. So this is the same key, I have copied it over here. Region, you can say that the reason on which in which you have created your this text analytics instance. So you can either copy this one or you can type it manually. Next is the endpoint. So here I have saved uh, that endpoint in a host and then I'm constructing a complete endpoint where we will be hitting the API. So host name and these are the various fields which you need to supply. So text slash analytics slash version 3.1 and it is recognition and then pi. Okay, next comes the input. So for the demo purpose to keep it simple, I have just taken the one taken one document and kept that information in a form of JSON. So document ID you can auto generate it or it's totally up to you. And this is the track text which I have extracted from the document. So if you are interested in doing this activity for the multiple documents, of course you can provide this entire thing using a comma separated because it is a list. You can see it is a list. You can see it is a list. So any number of documents you can provide it and just construct the JSON variable. Now after that, 
everything is like before how we have done in our other videos so we need to create uh, headers we need to pass the key in the region and here we are making a call to the api so let's have a look how this text comes out so i am running this application okay so you can see that for the first document it is saying the detected text is i live in india and my phone number is all these stars and at the same time it is uh, telling you why it marked it as a star what was the confidence level so here it has created the separate entities and accordingly we can see that let's have a look at one more example and i will try to execute this line so let's give it few seconds okay i will copy it so that we can visualize it better okay so this is the output and here you can see that redacted text is this so it has directed the name as well as the phone number so it means these two were the sensitive information and now why this was sensitive information you can have a look so text was actually shweta and it says that 69% it was the name of a person and similarly for phone number so it system was 80% sure that yes it was a phone number and hence these were marked as asterisk so now you got that which document is having sensitive information so simply what you can do while creating an application like classification or filtering application you can simply exclude the document which is having even a one line of sensitive information in that case you would be able to uh, get the list of documents which are just casual and can be sold out easily now the same thing if you want to see how we can do it uh, using the postman so i have created a video on that and will share the link of that video in the comment section so i hope you enjoyed this video and Keep watching. Thank you.